Good morning or good afternoon or good evening everyone. This is Deb with Daddy Designs Jewelry and More and I'm here to share some finished jewelry pieces with the are made with the Soft Flex Mystery Design Kit called Valentine uh, Passion. Now I did not get either of the coordinating strands this time so I did dig into my stash more uh, to coordinate with this and also I did not finish it like I did the last one. Um, I still have some red coral um, so I think maybe a little more than half left <coughs> excuse me left of this because I actually had some of the amethyst and I used that on one um, necklace this is what I have left of the design elements by Jesse James. I did not use the open roses nor the bright red roses. I did use the darker red ones. I did not use the two larger red crystals and I didn't use these red with purple or gray or whatever color they are. I started to and then I took apart what I was making with most, uh, several of these items. The bead caps are still there, which I know I'll use at some point. I have one little heart left and one, two, three, four gray sticks plus, well, one of them is defective. Let me show you. Well, I'll show you. It's hard to see through the plastic anyway, but these are what I have left. And obviously I can use these on another project. Um, there are four bead caps. I don't know where the other one went. Hmm. Is it still in the bag? Anyway, there are four bead caps. I'm not sure what happened to the other one. Ah, uh, here. It's stuck on here. <laughs> it got stuck in the rose. Well, I'll do that later. Uh, this is defective. It, um, I put it on a head pin, but the hole is drilled crooked, and it's a little chipped right there, which I didn't realize till I put it on the head pin, so I just threw it back in the bag and didn't use it. And there's the one little heart left. I did use the other three. I have 11. Okay, so aside from the Jesse James design kit beads, which I'll put back in here, I do have oops, um, 11 of these gold, matte gold that were on a strand left. Um, I forget how many there were, let me see, there were 20, so I only used, I'm kind of surprised at that, I only used nine of them. Hmm. Matte, they're six millimeter matte gold fire polish check glass beads. And out of the um, amethyst and gold fire polish rounds, I seven millimeter, I, uh, there were 30, I, I only used um, six of those. So yeah, I didn't use too much of those strands. Now these, the turbines, out of 15, I have one left. And out of 24 red uh, Siam red and gold fire polish, I only have two left. So I did use, there were 24 of those. So I used 22 of these and I used 14 of these. I used quite a few crimps and I messed a couple up. Well, I didn't mess them up. I changed my mind on something. Um, and I did use some seed beads this time, although I didn't do bead weaving. So let me put these aside. And uh, I, of course, I still have a string that ties the package. All right, so I think the first thing I made was this bracelet. And here's all of the uh, wavy spacers that were in uh, Jesse James and the matte gold and these are the red with the gold these are turbine beads here in the center and it's just a simple bracelet on the red coral with the crimp beads i did use the magic crimper on those oh uh, this one came out okay this one so so this is the lobster claw from the kit and this is a square closed jump ring i had in my stash um so the red crystals red and gold crystal red and gold crystal turbine bead red and gold crystal red and gold crystal two turbine beads 
sorry for the cat hair and stuff my cat was climbing up here and I thought I got it all but it's everywhere <laughs> um, so anyway that is the first bracelet and that does fit me so it's probably about a six and three quarter to seven inch bracelet I had measured it but now I forget and then um, what did I do next I did um, some earrings I think so let me bring this let me put you up turn you up all right so in front of you I'll show you all the earrings at once this is the necklace I made with and I didn't make this next but um, I did make it um, I had some vintage brass chain in my or brass chain in my it's like a um, roller chain I guess so I thought that went well I just and I used a seven millimeter jump ring a vintage brass um, head pin for the little heart and I just made a um, I might have this on backwards there we go um, this is from soft flex but not in the kit turbine beads turbine beads turbine beads these are from my own stash they're brass uh, saucer beads and so I just made three bead links hooked them with some chain in between and then the chain down to here is 24 inches so then we have what about another inch and a half for the bead link here and another couple inches for the lariat and the heart does not go through at least not easily the circle so it will stay in place and it looks nice on and there's no clasp you don't have to uh, pull you know um, worry about clasping it it just pulls over your head and it's easier to do you know you can loosen it up so it's about 20 24 to here so 25 plus the dangle okay so that was um, I wanted to do a lariat and I just was having trouble figuring out the how I wanted to do it and that's what I came up with sort of a um, what do they call those <laughs> where it's not even you know one of those that's what I did um, all right so then I did another bracelet and this is it I had these bars they were I think gifted to me now this is a magnetic class by cousin. I came in a pack of two and I think I got it in a kit. This is um, double wired. So I used a four millimeter crimp tube and my mighty crimpers to hold that on. And that was to hold the heavy, well, it actually was because I started a necklace and the way I was doing it needed two wires. Um, I didn't like how it turned out so I took it all apart that's why I have so many of the other beads left the red ones um, the red seed beads and the well and actually the gold too um, so I used the hearts here so this is the red crystals red crystals these are sort of silvery crystals that were in the Jesse James part of the kit these are the red and gold crystals so I have red gold and silver and um yeah i thought that came out cute and that also fits me so it's about a six and three quarter to seven inch also simple little bracelet there so let me show you earrings next um i don't know if you can let me bring this a little closer no maybe not uh, i think right there so these go with the chain necklace these are from um, soft flex um, I just have five I think links of the chain the two little hearts dangling because I put a little heart down here on the bottom of this heart the turbine beads and then these saucers from my stash to coordinate with these saucers and they're on um, the these are not the ear wires from the kit and also I broke two of the ear wires from the kit just trying to open them so I was kind of disappointed in that I just tried to open the loop to two of them and they just snapped um, so I did use one pair 
but the other pair is in the bag because it's it's broken um so that's the first pair then these use the turbine beads um ironically i had wavy saucer beads in my stash that were exactly almost exactly maybe a little smaller i had some really huge ones and then i had some that i think they were <sighs> five millimeter seven millimeter i think seven millimeter and um and they actually yeah they have a pattern like that too They're, so i used those and i stacked them the same way three and three and then i just put the sugar crystals on top and put them on a gold head pin now these are on kidney ear wires which i'm not crazy about but once you get them closed on your ear they're they're secure the, what i don't i'm not crazy about is this i have to pinch that closed i guess or put i have little rubber bead stopper things so i'll put them on those for now i'm putting them over top the glass and there we go just turning it around uh, these actually were not the next pair these were one of the last red pairs i did but uh, similar to what Sarah Eller had done, um, but I put seed beads on the red. Um, actually, I used uh, 24 gauge gold um, plated copper wire. Put it through here, put um, five, five seed beads on each side, twisted the wire, ran it, the twisted wire up through the crystal, red with gold crystals and then um twisted it around so this is doubled up here the wire and then did a wire wrap loop and put them on the kidney wires as well um then actually the these were the next ones i did and how i did them is let me get one off to show you the problem I have with these roses is, like on a bracelet or something, because they have a rounded back instead of a flat back, they don't sit still unless you do something with the back. These also are on wire. I started to do them with the beading wire, but um, I was having trouble with the crimps. That's where I messed up a crimp and um, working for me. So I used the wire again. Um, so what I did is I ran it through the bead. I put, I think it's um, 10 beads on back here just to cover the back and then ran it back through the bead and then up the sides and then same thing, twisted the wire. These cubes are from my stash um, and this is from the Jesse James part of the kit as is the rose, so are the red seed beads. And then I did like a messy wrap at the top because I had a lot of wire left and I think they came out really cute and the rose doesn't flip flop oops sorry the rose doesn't flip flop around so again I just put 10 seed beads on wire through the back um, and then put the wire back through to hold it pulled it really tight and then I think there's 16 beads on either side here um, and uh, the cube from my stash and then the sugar cube from the Jesse James and and then messy wrap that's called a messy wrap I'm not big on doing that but I had a lot of wire left and it worked for these so that's what I did um, and then I did these and these are on the uh, no, they're not. They're not on the ear wires from the kit. Um, it's a purple pair that's on the other pair of ear wires from the kit. So these, I was originally going to hook hook this onto the back of one of these, like hook it onto to this part of the beading, but I didn't like it, and it made the rose not sit right again. So. I decided just to use the other sugar cubes and put them separate. So these have eight, eight, and uh, 16 all together for a loop. So eight and eight. Now these I did use on the beading wire and I crimped it. 
with the magic crimping pliers. Um, <clears throat> so I put 16 of these on, put this on top, then I ran it up through this bead, but I crimped it. Well, actually, I crimped it, cut one wire off, ran the single wire up through here, and made the same size loop, 16, pulled it tight as I could without, the thing you had to be careful about crimping <clears throat> is when near these tiny glass beads is you can break your seed beads. And I did once. <laughs> um, that was a mess up. I think I did that on the first pair that I said I messed up the crimps. Um, these I was really careful. So there's a little bit of movement on this and that's because I had to slide it out of the way to get the crimp pliers in there and I did use the magical crimpers on those. I think they came out really cute. And these I had in my stash. They're gold-plated copper ear wires. Um, yeah, so I like those. Actually, they're long, though. Uh, let's see how long they are. They are... Sorry for the messy ruler I use it in my paper crafting. They're about uh, three and a quarter inches long from where it goes in your ear. All right, so then let's just keep going with earrings. If I turn this... Okay, these are the red and gold crystals, and these are the little bluish, um, I don't know, tassels out of the Jesse James part of the kit. These, and uh, you'll see I use this again, um, I had a gemstone bead mix I had bought ages ago, 2016 I think, uh, from Hobby Lobby, and I, it's been sitting here in a bag, haven't touched it much. So these blue pieces were out of that, and then I had these Millefiori glass hearts, which I thought matched those little tassels really well. So I put these on an eye pin and just hooked the heart, which the, the loop was turned the other way, so I carefully turned it so as not to break the glass. Now we, the, we do have gold going on here, so we have gold and silver because I wanted the blue on mostly silver. These are stainless steel ear wires that I got from Shipwreck Beads, but the eye pin is silver plated copper. I'm sorry, silver plated brass from Fire Mountain. So that's that pair. These were the first pair I made and these are using the ear wires from the kit. So they are just the little bellflowers, check glass bellflowers, the rhinestone spacer from the Jesse James part of the kit, and the two, two of the four little, two of the six little purple, I really like that color. Um, and I'm not usually a purple person, but I was liking the purples this time better than the reds, quite honestly. Um, so this time I put a little dangle on, so I used an eye pin here and just a little um, head pin on the bottom dangle, and I think it's cute. It's a little dangly piece, a little dancing girl. I didn't make any angels, I should have, and then I was I held off making these till the end because I thought, well, what if I need them and something else? But I had two more purples. I set them aside though. Uh, two of the bellflowers and two more of the rhinestone spacers, these two pieces from the Jesse James, and these are um, gold-plated copper ear wire from my stash, and I think gold-plated brass head pins from Fire Mountain. So those are those earrings. I have one more pair and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, I'm going to bring in another necklace here. Well, here's the other pair of earrings, <laughs> which you can't see, but I'll bring them in closer in a moment. Let me just rearrange a little bit so you can see this better. Oops, and there they go. The stand is unstable, so I'm just going to take them off. All right, so here are the earrings. They're on lever backs. Uh, these collage beads I think I got from... Joanne fabric some time ago. I used these as bead caps and then these are little silvery beads that were in the Jesse James part of the kit. 
and I just put them on a silver plated head pin wire wrapped onto lever backs um, because they're a little bit they're not very long but they're a little bit heavy so that is the last pair of earrings that I did well actually I did them earlier than the, some of the other ones but this is what I made them to go with oh my goodness <laughs> so sorry cat cat fur everywhere and Deb fur so <laughs> all right these are the two larger crystals from the Jesse James some more of the bead caps bell flowers um, and then the collage beads and the little black beads are what were on a strand from Joann's and I used them all between the earrings and the necklace um, I did bring in some silver tone spacer daisy spacers from my stash that I think came from beadbox bargains and also this oval chain which I can't remember where I got it and also a toggle clasp a sturdy toggle clasp because this is a little bit of a heavier piece so this is kind of how I normally you know chain and and beads so this is strung on soft flexes amethyst wire um, I did use my own silver crimp beads and I used uh, some corrugated um, crimp covers which I didn't do the best job with but they're on <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's amethyst so I thought that came out really pretty and the earrings to go with it I'll just lay up well you can't see them there either I'll put them down here and then I have one more thing which is actually not jewelry but I had two more of these left plus um, I had all those purple the amethyst uh, and gold so I made a, a chunky charm as we call them let me tell you I had one heck of a time getting this working this was in a pack it was from Joann's there was Hildy and Joe's brand and it had a really big one this medium sized heart one I wanted to use the heart to go with it and um, this was stuck closed I ended up having to use my pliers and really pushing hard to pop that open something was making it stick but I got it working and it works fine now um, now this bead and these little these little purple tassels here those were from a Jesse James bead mix called sugar plum fairy I've used it before but I pulled them out to use some of the beads from also it has some gold so again I mixed metals these had silver though so I used some wire uh, maybe it was a head pin actually yeah it was I used a head pin wire wrap this onto here but the head pins open on the bottom so I hooked the chain onto the head pin now these round and um, chip side style beads those are from the Hobby Lobby gemstone mix I mentioned earlier here are some of the amethyst any of these silver beads are from my stash um, here's one of the beads from the kit and this is from the kit as well but the silver bead is from my stash uh, these little silver hematite beads and sort of pinky purple beads are from my stash they're left over from a project I did for a different finished jewelry thing here's some of the um, gray tubes from the kit but the end beads are from my stash um, again another of the purple beads and a dangle of the tube with a silver plated bead another tube another crystal and so on and then down here we have another one of these plus another purple bead so I just made a chunky charm it's not super duper chunky but I used the last two of the bell flowers and a couple of the purples and some of the gray tubes I put a um, made with love charm on because um, 
we sort of had hearts going on in here too with the silver hearts so that is the last piece that i made Alrighty, i hope you enjoyed that i had fun making it but i do have to say i'm kind of tired of red and purple because and that's probably why i didn't finish because um i as many of you might know i did another kit in november from a different company that was all red and purple so yeah i'm kind of over red and purple right now <laughs> and i have a kit awaiting me that is pinks so i need to do the pink thing too so i did mix more of my own things in this time than i did previously i just felt i had to to make some decent designs this time but i think i, I really like these earrings the way i did the roses and also these with the seed beads the seed beads i felt went well with this sort of plum color and these look like sugar plum uh, bits sugar beads right so yeah i had some fun with it and i hope you enjoyed that as well and i will be talking to you again soon i did order the next kit which is oh it's beautiful it's blues and greens so i have a friend brandy he's left-handed crafter here on youtube and she loves blue and green so hint hint brandy you might like this one and i did get the strand this time there's only one strand and they were having you get a free strand if you order 55 but by getting the kit and the strand i wasn't quite to 55 dollars i i forget what i ordered i ordered something um maybe two things other stuff that findings or something that brought it up to over 55 so i'm getting two of the strands one free and one that i bought and they're gorgeous they're just gorgeous blues and greens and it's like a turquoisey blue i'm so happy i can't wait so yeah um those are my pieces i hope you enjoyed i will be taking pictures to put out on the vib group but i don't know when hopefully uh during our snowstorm sometime in the next two days <laughs> all right everyone have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead and stay safe i'll talk to you soon hugs love and peace